Welcome back to Disrupt Ed Student. I'm your host, Bobby Dykeman, here today with Michelle, a junior in high school. Michelle, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing pretty good, thank you. Our first question for you today is, do you believe that adults and students work together to make a better school? Okay, speaking from personal experience. So, can you reiterate your question? Do you believe that adults and students work together to build a better school? I believe that teachers, uh, to some extent, that they do listen to the students at school because they're, they're with us constantly. They're always, they're the ones who are engaged with us on a daily basis. They're the ones who are, who are personally closer to us than you know, the principal and other staff and people from the administration. But to some extent, they, they do listen to our problems and they do listen to our, um, what we want to say. But do I believe like they act upon that or, or like they take action from our complaints? I don't think so. But okay. I, I don't know if it's because they don't have the power to or they just don't want to. Do you believe that students and adults work together to create a better school? If they work together, the school would be like a better place? Yes. Yeah, obviously. Because it's all about cooperation, togetherness. And if Obviously, the school isn't just the school doesn't just belong to one group of people. It's not just about the teachers. It's not just about the students. It's about them cooperating to make a thing, like an environment that's best for everyone. Awesome. Do you believe that students have a voice? To some extent, I think we do. I think we have the power in our school to to say whatever we feel like saying. However, it's very limited, and um, I don't know if. That's a good thing or a bad thing because as students we're not as experienced as adults but i feel like they should take into consideration our opinions and our personal opinions because they do um the administration they do tend to do things without consulting us even the teachers or the students beforehand and they just um they place new acts and different um rules without the consent of the people, the other people in the building, which causes um, confusion, which, con which causes people being mad that they weren't being told what was going to happen, and just just having too much, I think, too much power. So the lack of communication is what you feel yeah. is creating a less of a cooperative environment. Yeah. Awesome. Students out there, I'd like you to take a moment to think about whether or not you have a voice in your school and the role you play in your own school. And think about whether or not you can build on your voice and your role that you play in your own school. Thank you again for joining us today. I'm your host, Bobby Dykeman, and we'll see you next time.